well guys this is dr mukammil shah uh, and today we are going to discuss the third chapter of microeconomic analysis and we are following the book of halar varian third edition right so the title of this chapter is profit function so let's start it so first of all we would like to discuss a uh, profit function we are starting from the production possibility uh, set so let phi be the production possibility set suppose this is the production possibility set and it covers it shows all possible production plants right then the profit function is denoted by p up uh, pi up p what is p p is a price vector which shows the prices of both input as well as output uh, and let's suppose y is a production plan which belongs to which is a subset of the production possibility set and suppose this production plan produces output and the output is net output right which means that it is positive quantity so if it is a production possibility set and we are using this production plan and it shows net output then the profit function is denoted by pi p and this is equal to uh, its subjective function is and this price vector is and shows input prices and as well as output prices so that's why this is the price vector which contains all prices which are either input prices or output prices or both so if this is your objection function such that the production plan y is a subset of the production possibility set so this is the objective of function of the profit function so this is how to bring your profit function up front what is important to note that this is a linear profit function because you can see that the maximum power or the price factor as well as the output production plan this is equal to 1 so this is linear and this profit function has many useful properties so let us discuss these properties one by okay the first property of the profit function is profit is non decreasing in output prices and non increasing in input prices now what does this mean to understand this let us uh, use the definition of profit profit is equal to this is equal to the difference between total revenue and total cost right and we know that total revenue is equal to uh total revenue is given by output price into quantity right and similarly total cost is equal to input price into quantity of output now it means that what is profit this difference this minus is what this is this is actually the profit this minus is the profit higher the difference between the total revenue and total cost higher will be the profit and lower the difference between total revenue and total cost will be the profit so it means that the property just say that it is non decreasing in this price and non increasing in this price so if this p increases if this p increases if this p output prices increases then clearly the difference between and the price of input remains constant the difference will increase and profit will be maximized similarly if price of output is constant and price of input increases if price of up uh, output is constant and price of input increases it means that the difference will decrease because for higher total revenue and lower total cost if you increase the input prices total cost will increase and the difference between total revenue and total cost will be minimized so profit will decrease that's why it simply means that if pi <coughs> prime is greater than pi for all output right it means that higher the if there are two prices for example the first price is pi prime right and the second is just pi and this is greater than this similarly 
for p input price 2 suppose uh, there are two options that is p j prime right and p j simply but p j is less than p uh, p j prime is less than p j so it means that for this uh, for this situation profit will be increased because it will raise total revenue right and in this case it will decrease your total cost because pj is lower than so if we report these two prices uh, in p prime right so profit at p prime will be greater it will be greater than profit at p p simply which reports these two prices pj and p i so profit at p uh, prime will be greater than profit at p so this is this is this this is the uh, explanation of this property uh, profit is non decreasing in output prices and non uh, increasing in input prices so this is the first value the rest of the values will be discussed in the subsequent uh, the rest of the properties will be discussed in the subsequent value thank you thanks for watching